of the iris. Hey, you crazy internet people. This is AJ for Forever Your Guru and Joel. That's right. For the first time, uh, we actually got a setup going here. I, I know you can probably see the reflection or, or the shadow of the mic there, but, but the studio is coming along now, and we're, we actually have two TVs set up in this room, one on the wall and one on one of those uh, Z-Line entertainment things, I don't know. Uh, and we have it recording, so what you're going to see in the finalized video is a little picture-in-picture -picture of Joel and I at the bottom. Uh, and uh, overlay on top of actual us flame. So uh, we're gonna just jump right into this, Joel. We are going on a strike. It's actually really weird not having a pair of headphones on. Right? Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, and, and every once in a while, you know, look, look at your audience there. They can actually see you this time. But uh, guys, this one is kind of cool. We are having a candid a little bit earlier. We filmed this one on Friday. Uh, it still will get released to you guys on Sunday, but we wanted to do this a little bit earlier because we have some things going on tomorrow, and we wanted to hit up a uh, a candid while everything's still fresh in our minds because we had that big, huge reveal from Bungie. Oh, guys, that was amazing. Oh, wasn't it? Uh, it was pretty good. Although, it's pretty obvious that somebody at Bungie was very, 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 very... I don't think it's that fair. Very... Uh, interested in warlocks because most of it was through the eyes of a warlock, um, and that's fine. That's probably just how they had it set up. I don't mind looking through the eyes of a warlock for stuff, but if you're gonna show off the three different uh, supers, at least talk about each one <laughs> relatively <laughs> with the uh, same amount of time. And they, they definitely did. Um, yeah, the hunter has this little staff thing and hits things. Cool. Next. Yeah. It's like, wait, what? That was it. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Whenever we made the videos, I, I literally had to dig through all of those videos. By the way, guys, if you if you haven't seen it, go back through the stuff. Um, I did have a video that we uploaded that went through uh, what you actually have with all the Guardians. Are you swapping things? Yes, you are. I'm watching heavy ammo <laughs> pop up on your screen there. Oh, yeah. Um, so, guys, use an app to swap things. Makes it so much nicer than trying to do it through the tower. Yeah, I use the app called Vault, and uh, it's amazing. Although the uh, what is it, the Ishtar? That's what I use, Ishtar Commander. Okay, there you go. It's that one's so apparently nice. pretty nice too. Uh, honestly, I think the Vault is actually a ripoff of Ishtar Commander. Um, although it, it just seems to work for me, and that's why I use it. But uh, we, which one is this one? Is this the Nexus? Uh, no, no. This is the contacted Destiny server. Why am I doing this? Why are you coming back to Destiny's Service? I'm not here. You weren't. It doesn't matter. You're still here. Yeah. Wow, apparently we're in somebody's game that's really bad off. Because he apparently not everyone, any progress. No, everyone left him, apparently. So, uh... Um, I wonder if the little, uh, hiding spot is still there. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, hey, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> I'm just having fun shooting that guy right there. Um... I don't feel like it. So so now now that you can see it on the screen, the thing that I just killed, uh, that Minotaur, yeah, lots of cool new things have happened. Minotaurs actually have true shields now. If anything has a shield, you can actually tell what type of shield it is now. It's not just like an energy aura that things have out of the blue, and so you just never knew exactly what it was. Uh, now it's just 100% you're gonna know what someone has because it kind of looks like the little Nexus mine. So that's kind of cool. Um, also, Minotaurs have, uh, they actually have like laser eye beams that they shoot at you, and it stays locked on as long as you don't uh, hide behind something or unless you stagger them. I think it drops too. Yeah, if you stagger them, they'll Yeah. What did you think about some of the subclasses sticking around? Or are they actually going to stick around? They didn't reveal that inside any of the trailers. Not in the trailers, but the trailers, you could tell, were pretty much just to show the new stuff off. Yeah. You know, no one really wants to see that in the trailer of the old stuff. Um, although, you did see tons of them using those exact supers with the old group. Exactly. That's, that's what I was thinking. I'm thinking that the, uh, the new group that we're going to get, the new Guardians and stuff, that they're going to give us, is going to be closer, uh, closer to like a new uh, generation of Guardians. They're not going to inherit the same skills. And the same, uh, uh, what's it called, supers. 
that we currently have? Um, I, th I think you're wrong. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, that some of those supers will be gone. I'm pretty sure that some of them will be gone. I personally would actually be happy to see them all gone. See a whole new set of supers, new stuff for everybody to have to learn yeah. and experiment with. That would be incredibly fun. Yeah, I, I totally hear you on that. Oh my gosh, they totally wrecked me. What is the uh, uh, a rail rifle from that hog goblin down there? Right. Oh, see, look, you can see exactly what got me. Don't just look there. Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, I can now. Uh, you can now see that I got home. Don't come and get me! You idiot! Not, yeah, we all know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, that's what I get for falling off the ledge. Um, but no, um, I totally understand it, but, but a lot of what Bungie is trying to do is give at least some familiarity Which is uh, cool. to, for people, veterans like you and I, um, that uh, you have some ground to stand on at least. Which, uh -huh. I, I don't know if they really need to do that with the supers though, because, you know, what did... We didn't even have access to our supers in the beginning of, uh, of Destiny. You know, you just played around until you unlock a super. You get your uh, your grenade first, and then your jump ability. Holy crap, G. Yeah, fire, dude. Solar. One shot. Solar. Yeah. Solar is special. It's one of those two that are... Uh, got them. Coming for you. Alright. But, uh, yeah, we got left. That guy's like, oh man, I can't even do it with them! <laughs> And then he left. That's exactly how it went, guys, I know. I didn't hear him, but... Why noob shouldn't do Play 350 <laughs> strikes? What are they, uh, what are the things, Joel? Do you know? No, I hadn't checked. Okay, I'm looking right now. Active right. modifier, solar burn, oh, specialist, yeah. uh, fresh troops, and heroic. So, with solar burn being the, the I'm thing... I'm gonna die again. Are you serious? Did oh, you yeah. Just, did you just really just die? I didn't want to. Uh, the Minotaur said I didn't have a choice. Oh, uh, good enough. Um, but yeah, so so supers, some are new, some are old. Uh, and now everybody has innate abilities that you will be able to keep. Um, like the Hunter, for sure, one of the two innate abilities that you can swap behind. Joel, I don't know if you actually saw this. Uh, every single character has two abilities that you will always have no matter what subclass you get. Yeah, That's the third like little that. square, right. So the Hunters... It is some variation of Shade Step. Uh -huh. You will always be able to, like, you have two moves, and one of them that you can choose is Shade Step. So that's kind of cool. Oh, is that the Vex? Yeah, it's not all that great from really far away, though. And I haven't gotten any heavy yet, so I can't pull out my Terminus. Well, they have the, uh, the rocket, or the, uh, the heavy. Oh. Oh. They do, but uh, you saw how well that went last time I would try to get over there. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. I didn't make it too far when I was trying to get it. I just wiped out like half the team. But... Yay for solar burn being multiplied through the bow. Guys, if you don't know it yet, whatever you shoot at your bow actually gets carried over everybody. Hey, right, watch out. Hey, we got another player. Awesome. Oh, okay, cool. I'm going to hide now. Because that was a... Uh, uh, that was definitely a what were you talking about? Jesus, man, my memory's so bad. Uh, are you talking about the harpies or no? The, uh, no, no. Not harpies. Uh, the big huge things that have the shoes. Mantles? No. Gosh, the harpies are the little things. Oh, yeah, I said mantles are next. No, not minotaurs. The big triangular-looking dudes. The, the shields. Looking dudes. The, the, shields. Looking things? the shields. Yeah, the gatekeeper-looking things. What are those called? I don't, I don't remember. Good job. Uh, Cyclops. Cyclops. Yay. Is this Cyclops? Yeah. Sure. Cyclops. I would say. Oh, Jesus. So, so yeah. So, we all get innate abilities, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, we also get at least one new subclass, at least one, maybe two. I don't know. Uh, but I can almost guarantee that I'm going to die. Uh, <laughs> I know. Cause I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, I, I ran away to run away to other things. Oh, that's not good. No. Where are you, by the way? Oh my gosh, dude, I can't, I can't take it. Like I am literally oh, getting honed out. There we go. Arsenal of light on that guy. Um, but yeah. So those are the problems that we have. Uh, we don't know exactly what the other subclass is. At least not yet. Maybe somebody will have figured it out. 
but uh, the way that you progress in your subclasses looks pretty neat. They've definitely changed some of that stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, uh, the new social space is going to be called The Farm, I think. Or at least that's what Deej called it, so I can't guarantee that either way. But who knows, maybe, maybe it will be called The Farm. Oh crap. Yeah, no, I just got taken out because you ran away. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah. So the thing is called The Farm. Um, it is built next to a shard of the Traveler, so that's why we all decided to go there. Um, and something to do with that probably is, oh my god, uh, something to do with that is probably why we have our supers, finally. Uh, although I can't guarantee that because there's some really big plot holes and they only give you the first mission that everyone was able to play, so we don't. Um, but... Which nevertheless looked amazing. Yep, the loadout's completely different now, and I, I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, that alone will change Destiny a lot and make it just a, a fresh new fun thing to do. Um, besides different weapon loadouts, you also have, um, what is it, uh, my gosh, I still have yet to get one weapon uh, of heavy ammo. I'm getting it now. That's what I'm doing. Ah. That was, that was close enough. Okay, good. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, you'll come across different people out there in the world of Destiny 2. And those people will be able to um, tell you uh, where to find special places, uh, where to find um, items, like and and some of them like uh, what what did they call them? Joel the zones? What were they oh, uh, some kind of adventure zone. Lost like lost, lost sectors. Yeah, lost sectors. That's what it is. Lost sectors. So they call them lost sectors, and they're um, they're areas of, of much 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 resistance and uh, really bad really bad stuff. So uh, you gotta be careful with them, but uh, the reward is really good. And if you find yourself into any of those uh, little mini raid things that they have, which sound amazing, yeah, where you can just go and find a whole bunch of people, um, and if you finish the little boss in the end, he drops a key for you, which will then give you uh, access to this whatever loot at there. the end of the uh, yeah the thing. How cool which is I that? love the sound of that because I don't like the whole you you've heard me rant on before, guys. I don't like it. The whole randomness. Oh no, it's all random, Joel. Sorry to tell you. The key drops. Oh no, the key drops aren't random. It's what you get out of the chest. Yeah, I'm random. fine with that. I'm fine with it. If I can get a key every time. Oh that yeah. I, that if I kill you, him, well, no, it's not every time that you kill him. It's probably once. Uh, once per week or something like that. Maybe once per week, or it may be once per per time ever. that mission is active or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, oh, it may yeah. never, it may never come back again. Um, and they might, because they, they're hinting that they're going to be able to get this, um, this content really, really high up. So we're talking about content not on every three or four months, but we're talking about maybe even as far as every week something drops out. Uh, or once a month, kind of like they do in Final Fantasy XV where uh, once a month there's a new um, super cool end of level thing that you get to go through and try to find out. So oh, oh, oh my god. Those are pretty amazing. Uh, these guys must be um, shooting uh, solar somehow, those, those guys? I thought they were hard. Which but either way, the, the, little, uh, the little shade guys, the minions that the uh, warlocks uh, was it supposed, was supposed to be hard. Yeah, well they weren't. Because like, yeah. I got hit by four of them when I was dead. So that was kind of interesting. And it's not melee. Well, they, so, do, they do have uh, bonuses to taking out shields because of their uh, their size. Oh, do they? Yeah, it's, it's the same that uh, the Thrall have. Oh, uh, okay. So, um... Oh my gosh, I just ran the wrong way. I know I did. Ha! I wonder if that guy intends on killing everything out there. Uh, for him, I hope he wants to, because if not, well, we don't even need to. We just got Silver Contender. We'll get gold by the end of this thing. Most of these strikes, guys, by the way, um, if you just play, you can get gold. You just have to be kind of on purpose about some of it. 
Um, also, okay, so uh, back to what I was talking about, Joel. You get way too sidetracked. Uh, <laughs> I get sidetracked. I hadn't said a word for a while. I know that's me saying that I get sidetracked. Um, yeah, all right. Guys, we're bringing Couch Call all back. Yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> welcome to Candid. No, but, um, gosh, what am I trying to even think about now? Um, yeah, so, uh, what about, what, how awesome is that, that you actually get to go and, um, what is it? What am I trying to say? Uh, you can go anywhere in the game without necessarily having to go to orbit now. I have been one to do that. AJ knows. Yeah. People that have read the, uh, the, the... <laughs> Look at them, Joe! I damn, I am. <laughs> People that have read the Bungie forum know that I've posted certain things back in the alpha, the beta, and once the game was actually released. Oh, dang, stating that, you know. that there are ways to avoid having to go to orbit. Oh, they always had it. I, I just think that it would have been such a monumental change for them to have to go through that it wouldn't have, uh, it wouldn't have worked out very well with the old system and, and uh, the OS that they did. No, it really wouldn't so have. And I, I really hope that this is... It, what I, from what I heard, it seems like they listened to a lot of the complaints that I and other people were saying. Uh-huh. Because I, I really had a lot of uh, positive things that I was hearing from their, uh, their, their little spiel that they gave. Yep. It didn't sound like it was going to be the same old desert. Gold. <laughs> no, it, it looks to be a 100% brand new, very amazing game. Um, with, with, an, with a code of Destiny 1 thrown on top of a new car. Uh, and you barely ever hear that anymore, you know, um, like you hear a lot of it, like, you know, old car, new coat of paint, well, this is a new car, new car with a fresh coat of paint. Yeah, with a fresh coat of paint on it, which is great. Um, I'm so screwed. And the other guy, is this stuff right? That's awesome. Okay, good. Because if he didn't, I wasn't going to be able to get the time. That's fine. But, uh, yeah, so, um... Great new game. Uh, the strike looks flippin' amazing. Oh gosh, Joel, I need you. Uh, the rope's are in my face. Okay, come pick me up. Stop shooting and come pick me up. I'm gonna get you right after I get that. <laughs> That's why I was like, the, the, the world ice got it. Oh my gosh, another one? Seriously? Hey buddy, you're going down, you know it, right? Okay, good. Um, so... Here comes the third. Wow! Okay. I got this one. Do you have the other one? Yep. Good. Yeah, you had him all right. That was a pretty hard shot to the face. Um, so uh, yeah. So what what do we know? What do we don't know? Well, we do know that I just got pwned by that guy who's not stopping to shoot me. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, splash damage is a thing. Um, we know the game is coming out in September. We know 100% that you should probably pre-order uh, at least before. E3 because we don't know exactly when the beta is hitting. They got a. Uh, and I, no, he didn't die yet. Uh, uh, all I know is that I'm doing my darndest to hit anything but the big guy. I don't know oh crap! Oh crap! Here. Yeah, I, I thought I had something else. To do. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, uh, we know the game's coming out soon. And we know that you should probably pre-order, not just because we want you to go pre-order, you know, it's not like we have anything to do with it. We're not getting our kickback. Back. No. Uh, but what we are wanting is a lot of people to play the beta. Um, yeah, because the beta you. gives you opportunities to talk. Yeah, we want you to play the beta. We want you to experience it for yourself. See what everybody's talking about. Make sure it's something that you're actually going to want. You can always cancel your pre-order, guys. It's not something that you're stuck with. Right. Unless you, you know, pre-order digitally. Yeah, don't. <laughs> well, I mean, pre-ordering it digitally, you can still complain to uh, Sony, to Sony or Microsoft. Microsoft or, uh, no, Blizznet will not give ooh, you. Ooh, really? No, Blizznet does not give refunds, man. Don't do it on PC yet. Order uh, it digitally. <laughs> do, do, if you're going to do something digitally, do it on the console. Complain to them. If you don't like it, if you do like it, complain to the console people and order it on PC if you want. Yeah. Um, actually, that. guys, the best way to do it is to uh, go ahead to your local GameStop. I'm not condoning this, but I'm just saying, if you order a physical copy of Destiny 2 at GameStop, you can give them $5. Uh, 
If you give them the five bucks, they will give you a beta code. If you ended up not liking the beta, just go cancel the pre-order. Simple as that. Yeah. If you liked it, then you can either switch your pre-order to the digital copy because you know you're going to get it, and then you they'll give you uh, they'll cancel out the other one, give you the digital one, and then whenever you finish prepaying for it, you have to prepay for that one though. And if you prepay the full amount for that one, then they'll give you the code that you need. Um, no, there will not be uh, anything after the beta, and yes, we only get one. So, um, it's not like it's going to be time gated or anything like that. Uh, although, they might hit at different dates for different consoles or PC. So, we don't know. Uh, Xbox and uh, Xbox and PlayStation might get theirs first and then PC come up. Uh, but we're not sure on that. Yeah, nothing, nothing really has been confirmed. Right. So, we don't know exactly when, the, when they're all coming uh, I can guarantee you that um, cheating will not be that big of a thing on the PC version. So if you were thinking about that, don't worry about it. Uh, and the reason Definitely being is Blizzard because... Being yeah, right. Blizznet is... Uh, it's not Blizznet, it's Battle.net. Battle.net Battle. Battle. is... Uh, man, is it secure. Oh my gosh. And they love going after people. And they go after people all the time. I really think they do it for fun. Uh, well, they need to. <laughs> I mean, you need to enjoy your job because, boy, you're banning a whole lot of people at once. But, uh, but yeah, will there always be cheating on PC? Sure, there will be. Just like there's cheating on it, on every game device out there. Yeah. Uh, there are still game, hardcore cheaters on PS4, by the way. If there's a game, you can you can just count on the, the fact that somebody's going to find a way to get into the system and work it to their advantage. Mm -hmm. Every time. Uh, so, I mean, that's that's what we have for that. Oh, man, I can't even get my Treasure of the Ages. What? This is why Destiny 2 needs to come out, and I need to lose my vault. This is why we need to have unlimited vault space. Yeah, once again, it's, it's their system. Their system's just too jacked up, broken to, to do it. Well, yeah, but for Destiny, but Destiny 2, perhaps we can have unlimited vault space. Uh... Perhaps hippos fly in the middle of the night in the dark. Hey, I would but be I'm willing to sure bet on that on, in Destiny don't. 2. They don't. They don't fly, Joel. Not in the dark, at least. In Destiny 2, they might. In Destiny 2. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the Ghost is back. Uh, and also, another entity will be guiding with you, at least in some missions. And uh, her name, I said her, her name is Failsafe. Uh, we don't know exactly if she's an AI or if she is a war mind. She says your favorite AI, but all that means is artificial intelligence. So maybe she was something that got created right before the collapse. I don't know. Yeah, maybe one of the uh, the missing war minds, like you had said, and just kind of survive somehow. I mean, we have uh, but she a space she, survivor. How yeah, long? but but she doesn't seem like a a, a war mind. A war mind. Or, or maybe maybe she seems exactly like a war mind, and I just couldn't speak Russian. So I had no idea what Rasputin was yelling at me the entire freaking time. It's true. I actually asked my friend. Uh, he, he knows Russian fluently. His dad was a missionary in Russia and had the family there for, uh, for years. And uh, he said a lot of the stuff that Rasputin says is funny, and he's actually making fun of you half the time because of how incompetent we are. I do not doubt that. Uh, so, uh, any Russian... Russians. Wow. Any Russians in the audience, if you want to weigh in on that. entire Russian audience. Yeah, yeah, that one guy that hasn't joined yet. Uh, <laughs> Dang it, man. Right. But, uh, yeah, but if you know Those Russian and you can translate some of that, let us know. Because uh, I think that would be cool. Um... But yeah, so I, I think we've talked enough right now. There'll be plenty more information coming out in the future, I promise. But um, this has been Forever Your Guru, AJ. And Joel. Signing out. We'll see you in the next one.